Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about 10 reasons you might want to switch from TorGuard to NordVPN. We're going to be listing out those reasons in this video. If you want to help support the channel, if you find this video useful, use my link in the description down below. You should be able to get four extra free months with NordVPN if you do use that link. All right, guys, let's get into this discussion. So, guys, probably the first thing I do want to discuss when it comes to NordVPN is that streaming compatibility is a built-in feature. What does this mean? Well, basically, with NordVPN, you could switch to pretty much any region you want, whether you're in the United States or maybe even going to Net, um, Japan. Um, you really can unlock quite a bit of content. So, really, it's just a matter of picking a different um, country connecting there and you should be able to get different versions of Netflix new animes and things like that let me show you right here so I can show you guys right here um, it says we're in the Japan version of Netflix and pretty much if you go to Netflix you'll be able to speak content specific to Japan um, now with TorGuard they do let you have two specific locations but with NordVPN you don't have to pay extra for those and you could choose any region you really want I've tested up to 20 to 30 different regions before I got tired of testing it and pretty much every region was able to give me kind of unique content on Netflix and other services so this is a very cool built-in thing with NordVPN it's called the stream compatibility feature of my rating system and it's definitely something NordVPN excels at. Additionally, since NordVPN has so many servers, it kind of guarantees that it's going to work with a lot of different countries. And this is one reason that NordVPN has long been one of my favorite options for recommending to people to unblock geo restrictions. So definitely a solid reason to pick Nord over TorGuard due to the flexibility and just easier use as well. Another important consideration you have when choosing a VPN service is how much it's updated. This means new features, fixing bugs, and stability overall. If you take a look at Nord compared to TorGuard's options when it comes to updates, last update for TorGuard was all the way back in March 27th with a small bug fix. Um, update for configuration files is March 13th and as far back as November 14th. However, when you look at NordVPN, you can see that there's way more updates. You have July, June, June, May, May, and April. So definitely a solid thing. You can never really go wrong with more updates on an application. So definitely could be a reason why you might want to switch just have an application that is updated more often one other big reason i've seen some people switch from nord to um from torgard to nord vpn is for kind of lack of updates on certain kind of features they've said they were going to implement already and still have not take for example nord vpn has a split tunneling feature which means you could segregate your vpn use on your computer use vpn for some things and not other things torgard promised to do this a long time ago and i found um, in their forms they said they were going to implement this but they kind of said that they weren't going to implement it um, because it just takes a while to kind of make securely and we've seen other VPNs like ExpressVPNs have issues with split tunneling so in some ways I think there is some merits in the application but at the same time just because ExpressVPN had issues with split tunneling leaking DNS requests doesn't mean that other VPNs haven't figured out a way to do it securely in my opinion this update probably is not going to come for a very long time or at least there's been no actual update on it that makes me confident of it as you can see here on Google um, people have been asking for this as back as three years ago um, this guy says this has been discussed for literally years now it's become an SH feature and it's still not here as of 2024 so people have been asking for this feature for three years and it's still not here not only that but some other features that are still not here as well something like the Apple TV application pretty much all the major VPNs do have this feature now and you can even see people complaining about it in the forums how it's still not here this guy's asking for it um, you can see a couple other people asking for it as well as this one right here and TorGuard has said it's not available yet and they're telling people to pretty much use a VPN router so definitely a little disappointing there in terms of development roadmap features and stuff like that that people are bigger requesting for a long time is simply not here still nordvpn on the other hand has a apple tv application and in fact it's a pretty good one and it has split tunneling and some other features too that torgo does not have that we'll discuss in a little bit Another advantage Nord has over Surfshark that you might consider um, is the server locations. Now Nord actually has quite a bit um, where Torgo doesn't have quite as many. That said, Torgo still does have a decent amount. Don't get me wrong. Um, I think they have 
They have around 68 locations or 50 countries, at least according to um, Google. However, if you take a look at something like NordVPN, it claims to have 111. Um, 111, Nord has a bigger network. There's just no going around it. And in my test this year, I've found that it actually does give better speed results too. TorGuard is still a fast VPN. NordVPN is maybe anywhere between zero to 5% faster than TorGuard, which is still nothing to scoff at if you're really trying to maximize your speeds. A couple other reasons why NordVPN might be the better choice is they do have no log audits. They've been doing no log audits and they've had the fourth one as of right now. Uh, TorGuard still does not have a single one under its belt. If this is something you value, a VPN verifying it does not click logs and having some kind of third party kind of look over the system, definitely a solid thing for transparency and Nord has that and TorGuard has not done one. This is its fourth time doing it for NordVPN. Now this might not be a big deal to you, but NordVPN is the bigger company. It's valued at around $3 billion, which means that its future is pretty much guaranteed. And it's probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest VPN provider. This ensures updates, development, peripheral products and stuff like that. There isn't really a public um, valuation of TorGuard, but it's probably nowhere near close to NordVPN's size of a company. This might be a pro or a con depending on you, but it's something to think about at least having resources and the size to be a, um, a force going forward, at least in terms of financial security. Another reason why you might want to consider Nord over Tour Guard is I do think it has a more interesting ecosystem and bundled offerings. Take for example as a password manager fully developed and it's actually pretty good. I reviewed it and the interface is top notch. A data breach scanner that works a little bit better than something like Tour Guard has. Tour Guard just has like a web page. Um, NordVPN also has cloud storage, identity theft recovery built into a subscription model and it's also means Sailey which is an eSIM travel kind of provider and you get bonus data for that which is a pretty good value. TorGuard does have some other kind of peripherals. Um, they're really not really that user friendly. I've reviewed a couple on my channel and mainly what they kind of are are power user kind of things for routers and um, they really like to push those routers although they haven't been pushing them as much lately. Um, the interesting thing is um, if you kind of go to the website and you click on routers uh, for some reason it's not really okay now it's doing something it's just it was just kind of lagging so they kind of have this router business and they also have some software um, kind of in the, the cloud where you could kind of set up a at-home VPN kind of thing with local stuff and they've kind of made their own router software so that's kind of really what they've focused on the last couple of years um, they also have some interesting proxies and stuff like that for censored users um, but in my opinion NordVPN's kind of product offerings that are their peripherals are kind of more interesting for uh, just a wider consumer base whereas Tor Guards are more specific to routers and those kind of things if you're really into VPN routers. Um, and I'm, I'm not sure if they're actively developing this as much as they once were. Let's go ahead and check out the GitHub to see if there's been any recent updates to kind of just check on the status of that, just because I don't want to speak unless it really is being updated still. If you take a look at the GitHub for private router, it doesn't seem like it's been updated since around uh, January. So it doesn't seem like they're really updating this anymore. So I'm not really sure about the status of that. Bundling off um, kind of that jumping off point of the remote router kind of stuff, um, NordVPN actually has a very similar kind of feature they've built into the application. Now, TorGuard's main kind of use for their private router and private cloud and stuff like that was remote access to your at-home network. However, NordVPN actually kind of around the same time TorGuard started making it had made actually, I think in my opinion, a better, easier, and more effective way of doing this. Basically what they did is they made a Nord mesh, which pretty much means you connect to your NordVPN on your computer. And when you connect to it from a remote device you can have access to your computer's network and access your media server cameras or anything remotely definitely a very solid implementation and no other VPN has really implemented something quite like this the nice thing is is that you can even share your LAN access with people um, since it is a free feature where if you are a paid customer you could set this up and they connect to your network um, with that account they have for free so it's a pretty cool feature and TorGuards doesn't work as well as this Although admittedly, TorGuards might be a little bit more powerful, but at the same time, the updates um, with the router and stuff like that, I'm not really sure how often private cloud is still being updated. Private router, the software here is a little bit separate from their private cloud implementation, just to be clear. Finally, one other thing that NordVPN might have an advantage over is that NordVPN doesn't block torrenting uh, on US servers. 
Torgard had some kind of legal battle um, since they are in the United States and they had to block access to torrenting on US servers. So you have to use Canada and stuff like that. Now, this has kind of been one of those areas where I've been kind of confused sometimes, where sometimes it seems to work, sometimes it doesn't. But that said, NordVPN just doesn't really seem to have as many issues torrenting with US servers. So that could be something you can think about as well. All right, guys, that's my final roundup for this Torgord and uh, Nord VPN comparison, 10 reasons why you might want to switch. Let me know down in the comments down below if you plan on switching or if you don't plan on switching. And I'll see you again very soon.